Hi guys, today I'm going to show you what's in my skate bag. I'm going to do a review of three different sets of skate pads and I'll show you my helmet and my skates. So I usually carry all of my skate stuff in this bag. It's the perfect size. It's a champion bag. I think it cost me like $12 at TJ Maxx. And when I saw it, I was like, this matches all of the colors of my gear and I thought it was perfect. So when I go skating, I usually put a set of pads in here. I have my skate leashes to carry my skates. I can fit my helmet and sometimes I can even fit my skates themselves. So right now I have a fanny pack and when I'm actually trail skating, I wear this fanny pack and I keep my skate tool in it. I have my toe stop tool and I usually carry this tiny thing. It's pretty cheap, I think it was like five bucks and you can actually attach it to your skates so that if you're out and about and you forget your bag, you can actually loosen and tighten your skate wheels with this. So I actually make skate leashes. I have a shop called Sudsy Skate Shop on Etsy. And here are three out of the most popular five that I offer. I always keep these in my bag for myself because they are my personal favorites. I love this one, it's super soft. And this is the one that I'm gonna use today and I'll show you how a skate leash works. So if you've never used a skate leash, you just loop one end of your skate leash over your boot and then you'll put the other side over the other boot. And there's no more trying to hold your skates, you have your hands free, and then you can easily just unpack your bag and do whatever you need to do. So like I said, I have several options on my shop. If you don't have one, you should totally pick them up. They are super cute. I have options that will match all of your skates and you will love it. You will never be able to go back to carrying your skates any other way. It's super easy to carry them into the rink this way or to go trail skating or even when you need to go into a store, you can just throw them over your shoulder and there you go. So it can be really hard to find a cute helmet. I like this one from Thousand. It's a bike helmet, but you can use it for skating or really anything. It's really easy. You just put it on. You can tighten it here in the back to make sure that it fits your head perfectly. And then it has a magnetic clasp that you just put like that. You can tighten it under here. But as you can see, this is probably the only cute helmet that I've ever been able to find. And it comes in just so many different colors. So I highly recommend checking them out. What's also cool is that it has a place here where you can actually pop it out and put a lock. So you can actually lock it uh, with a bike lock and it's just a magnet right there. Love this helmet. I highly recommend. This is the rose gold helmet. And of course it just matches the kind of pink vibe that I have going on when I skate. So the skates that I prefer are black moxie lollies with gummy outdoor wheels. The outdoor wheels, of course, I usually trail skate. So it allows me to go over objects easily so that I'm not falling. And they're really, really big, so you're able to just skate really quickly. I have the little charm that the Moxies come with, and I have Moxie lollies in every single color. But the black ones, I just really skate in most outdoors because they don't show wear as badly. So today I wanted to review three different sets of three packs of your protective gear. The first one I'm gonna review is gonna be the Impala ones here, and then I'll review some Smith Scabs pads, and lastly, I will review the TXJ Sports pads. So I put on my set of Impala protective pads. This comes in a three pack. This is in size adult medium. So it's actually surprisingly hard to get a three pack that will fit every single part of your body. So for this one, this is size medium, and you can see that the wrist guards are a little bit big for me, but they're not too bad. So I probably would have done better with a set of small wrist guards, but this is a three pack. You can only get them in one size for each piece. So medium. Elbow pads are, they fit pretty well. Um, they're a little bit big, but it's not terribly bad. And then the knee pads themselves, they fit decently well, but I have a couple points that I wanna make about these. So I am five foot nine and I'm about 150 pounds. So what that means is that the, the leg portion is always the hardest for me to fit. So the knee pads right here you can see that they go all the way around the back they're slide on and the front cap here that protects your knee is pretty small so of the ones that i'm going to review of the pads i will be reviewing today this actually has the smallest protective portion but it also means that it's probably just for trail skating and it's not something that i would necessarily want to wear to the skate park because it doesn't have as much protection as other pads do so this is definitely great to protect you when you're just trail skating, but consider something that might be more durable or a bit bigger and with more coverage if you're gonna be doing some more intensive skating. So the next set of pads that I'm gonna be reviewing are the Smith Scabs set of three. 
These come in size adult large for me. I ordered the medium and they were way too small. And these pads, even in adult size large, are actually super tight. And that means that I'm rarely gonna wear these even though they are pretty protective. So these are the adult size large Smith scabs. I think this is like in like a unicorn color. I can't remember what the color is. Oh, it's called cotton candy. Um, the, I'm already in pain, I'm gonna be real. So these are already cutting off my circulation here and here. These have the most protective area. They are the highest quality of skate pads that I have. And they are also huge pads. They're way too big for me in the wrist because this is a size large wrist guard. And remember, I probably need a small. Um, size large, size large, size large. And yet it's cutting off my circulation. Once again, I'm 5'9", I'm about 150 pounds. To be a size large in these pads and they still do not fit me, it's just really disappointing and disheartening. So I don't ever wear these pads. They are the best pads I have, but they just don't fit. So the construction is super nice. You could tell these would be high quality. There's so much protection. They're way bigger than the other Impala pads, but unfortunately I can't find a pair that's gonna fit. At that point, I'd have to order an extra large. I don't even know if the extra large would fit. And that would mean the wrist guards would be ridiculously too big for my hands. So I just can't bother. This is something you'd wanna to wear to the skate park. Look, it's covering your entire kneecap versus the Impala knee pad. You can see the difference there. So it's gonna feel a lot bigger, um, but you, you won't have to worry at all. If you're literally skating the skate park and then you have to fall down on your knees, you don't have to worry at all. This is gonna protect you. Now, what I will say is that these are white. So yeah, they're super cute, but the second you fall down, they're gonna get destroyed and you're gonna be really sad. So you might wanna consider an option that's black or just darker, because as cute as these are, the first time you actually use them, if you're falling the way you should be falling, they're gonna get torn up. So let's review the last pair. So the last set of pads that I'm going to be reviewing are the TXJ Sports pads. These are in black and they are also adult size large. I decided to request a large because of my experience with Smith Scabs, so I thought, you know what, I wanna just go bigger because too tight and I'm never gonna wear it. So the company was nice enough to send me these for free to review and let's try them on. These are the third and final pad set by TXJ Sports. And I have lots of opinions on these. Now, I thought these would be the pad answer to my problems. But unfortunately, even though these are an adult size large, they are still too small for me. You want your pads to fit tightly so they don't slip down. However, you don't want them to be cutting off your circulation from the second you put them on. If your pads are really uncomfortable from the very beginning, you're just not gonna wanna wear them. So. These are a little bit too small. Now I will say I love that they have the big surface area, just like the Smith Scabs did, but they just feel a little bit tight. You can see my wrist guards are a little bit smaller than the Smith Scabs ones, so that's nice, even though they're both size large. They don't stick out as much as the other ones do, but they still don't fit totally properly. Um, they have good construction. You can tell that if I fell, I wouldn't be in too much pain. And I like that there's lots of protective area here. For the skate park, these would be great because it's not gonna show wear as badly as the white ones. But once again, they're just a bit too tight for me. I'm almost at the edge trying to fit these and these are a size large. So it's just really, really difficult to find a three pack of protective gear that's gonna fit every single part the way that it should. Buying them separately can be a headache, but at the same time, you'll probably actually get your perfect fit. So there you have it. Of these three pads, my favorite is probably the Impala simply because it fits me the best. I would prefer to have more coverage like this one or this one here, but unfortunately these are just too tight even in adult large. And for some reason Impala has just constructed something that fits women's bodies better. These are probably more unisex, so maybe they just are creating them for different body types that don't match mine. And I find myself wearing the Impala ones most often because they just feel the most comfortable. It's very important to wear protective gear when you're skating. You never know when an accident could happen. So I highly recommend picking up a set there's lots of pad options on the market. These are just three options that I'm reviewing here, but try to find your perfect pair and skate safely. If you have any questions, just leave them down below. Thanks for watching and happy skating.